Sankhya is an Indian philosophical school that is considered dualistic, positing the existence of two fundamental principles, or what are called tattvas, purusha and prakriti. Purusha is the pure consciousness that illuminates all objects of consciousness. It is the witness, or seer, of all phenomena. Referred to as your highest self, it is also the goal of yogic practice. Prakriti, on the other hand, is often translated as matter, nature, or the physical, but this is not quite correct. Because Purusha is the witness, or that which sees, Prakriti encompasses everything that is seen, whether what is seen is an object in the physical world, like a book or a table, or a thought from one's psychological world. Thus, when Sankhya is referred to as dualistic, this is nothing like the familiar Cartesian dualism of René Descartes, which posits an ontological separation of mind and matter. To Sankhya, both mind and matter are part of Prakriti, while Purusha is the light of consciousness that witnesses both mind and matter. If metaphysics refers to a branch of philosophy concerned with the ultimate nature of reality, then Sankhya is no ordinary metaphysics. Sankhya is interested in metaphysical knowledge only insofar as that knowledge liberates us. Sankhya's apparently metaphysical separation of Purusha from Prakriti can be seen as a map that guides us from bondage to liberation. For example, if you fully recognize that your thoughts are not an extension of who you are, then you become free of their sometimes crushing weight in your life. If you have fully identified with your Purusha, your true self, then something like the aging process won't get to you so much. To realize the ultimate independence of Purusha from Prakriti is to become liberated from suffering or Dukkha. This realization is not merely intellectual, but is a profound embodied insight that arises in the context of deep yogic, meditative, or contemplative practice. Thank you.